up guys, it's JDL. Welcome back to the JDL channel. And today we are rebuilding the New York Knicks, bro. My first rebuild back and a team, they need some help, man. We got to rebuild the Knicks. We got Brunson, we got Randall, we got Barrett. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like RJ Barrett. I don't like his game. I feel like his shot selection is bad. I feel like he's not an explosive athlete. I'm just not really... I don't know. I just don't feel like he's that good, but he is an 84 overall. He's a lot higher than I thought he might be. We got quickly off the bench, Toppin. Derrick Rose has been a factor for a while, but he's getting old. Hartenstein. So we got a squad. Uh, we got some questionable contracts, some good ones. So let's figure out what we're going to do here. All right, I'm going to trade Barrett to the Jazz for Markkinen and Vanderbilt. They're both on two-year deals, so we're going to have them. We get off the Fournier contract, which is doing nothing for us. All right, with Vanderbilt in the picture, we can look to move Toppin. We can get a Lakers first round pick, bro for Obi Toppin. We're gonna have to take on Kendrick Nunn, but he's an expiring. Honestly, yeah, I feel like Toppin's just not even that great of a player, to be honest. So let's take this 2026 pick. That is a long time in the future. So we're probably gonna end up moving that pick um, when we're ready to make a championship run, but we have it. Quickly, we're gonna wanna keep Rose. I'm just worried about Rose declining. He's 34 years old. I know he's a 78, but ah, I feel like, wow. Capella. Boom, that's an expiring. Oh no, it's not an expiring. So we're Capella, we're gonna have under contract. We could trade him, that's not bad. All right, so we have our own first round pick. We got a Mavericks pick and we got the Pistons lottery protected pick. So, I mean, those are all okay. None of them are gonna be fantastic with all the protections on them. So we can't really expect to build too much of this Wimbanyama draft. And we're way too good to tank ourselves. I mean, that's just out of the question. Capella on the roster. We don't really need Hartenstein. Terrence Mann's got a little sneaky extension. We could bring him on. Uh, let's grab a first round pick, swapping with the Bucks. why not? Again, probably won't be a great pick, but you never know. And it's in 2024, so we'll be able to act on it quicker. So our year one rotation is going to be Jalen Brunson, Emmanuel Quickly, Markinen, Randall, and Capella. Uh, let's start Robinson over Capella. Bring Capella off the bench. I mean, I like this, you know, either center we can rim run with. Vanderbilt's a defender. Uh, so this is the thing. We really go seven deep, and then we're pretty bad. Quentin Grimes, 22, just not a part of the team here, I guess. Okay. This is a good team. It's not a great team. I'm not expecting too much from us this season. So let's go to the trade deadline. I don't think we're going to make any more trades, but let's see how the season unfolds. A loss, a win, a loss, a win, a win. Okay, making the Bucks bad. We like that. All right, so we're at 26 and 30 at the trade deadline. Ah, that's not good. So here's my thing with the Knicks roster, right? Julius Randle, I like him as a player. My only thing with him is I don't know if what he really looks like as a second or third option on a great team. He's not like the kind of guy I would love to kick it out to for a shot. I like him a lot more as a first option, and I feel like we have a hard ceiling with him as a first option. So I'm going to look to see what he might have value-wise going on. Doesn't have a lot of value. I mean, the Sanguine one isn't... Ah, not with a pick. All right, I'm not making any trades at the deadline. I'm just gonna let the season play out. I didn't see anything that I liked. All right, so Luka Doncic averaged about 36, 11, and 10. Insane shooting splits, that's just nuts. We actually had the sixth man of the year with Clint Capella, um, and Emmanuel quickly was most improved. So some good things from this season, some good things from this season. We did not have anyone make a all NBA team, but uh, we are the eighth seed, so we're in the play-in game. And we are in the playoffs. We're going against the Celtics, which is a scary matchup. They've got Smart, Brogdon, Brown, Tatum, and Williams. I mean, I like that Celtics team a lot. Look, I think our team's gonna be able to put up points, but I don't know if we can hang with these guys, to be honest. I'm just being honest. But I'm glad to see us sneak into the playoffs here. They take game one by only four, and we actually beat them. So maybe this will be a series. Maybe this will be a series. We got size. We got physicality. We're from New York. That was a horrible New York accent. Game seven in the garden. Both teams play in a garden, so we're pretty familiar with this kind of atmosphere. Oh, it's close. It's close. We take the lead. We take a decent lead here. We might pull off an insane, uh, we pull off a crazy upset. Now we've got the Sixers who, okay, this is the scary matchup because, you know, round one, the Celtics, Rob Williams, he's a freak athlete. He's a beast. This is a small lineup with Tatum and Williams. Now we're going against Joel Embiid. Don't like that matchup for us. They take game one by about 24 points. They beat us by 12. Yeah, I, that's a bad matchup for us. We, we're gonna need to figure out a way to deal with Embiid. And I think that'll be good for us anyway because we can kind of continue to have better big men than the Celtics, which is also gonna be important. Uh, the Sixers win the championship over the Pelicans. Embiid wins finals MVP. All right, so we lost to the eventual champions, not bad. So we end up with the 16th pick from ourselves and the 19th pick from the Mavericks. 
which means our first round pick from the Pistons conveyed into an unprotected pick for next season. So we like that. So two high draft picks, pretty good to start out with here. Everything I said about Randall, I still kind of feel. So I'm just gonna explore the Randall trade market again. Okay, the Spurs are gonna give us the second pick in this draft. I was literally about to be like, ain't no way, bro. There's no, I don't see a pick that I like, but we're gonna get the second pick in the draft. There we go. So it sets our timetable back a little bit, maybe, maybe, but maybe it doesn't. So the question now, the question now, boys, can we do some parlays here? All right, the Nets have the first pick. Wait, what? So the Nets have the number one pick in the draft and they take Victor. <sighs> 19 trade offers for this pick. I mean, if there's anything crazy, we're gonna jump on it. Victor Wembanyama for another first round pick for the 2026, they'll give me Victor. I'm so down. All right, we gave up a lot to get Victor, but bro, brother, come on now. We got Victor Wembanyama replacing Julius Randle. I like that. And we still got more first round picks. That's the crazy thing here. Take Keontae George, 6'4". All right, take this dude. Probably look to trade the 20th pick in the draft. Let's see if we can trade this pick. I, I, I'm not really feeling like whoever we draft here is gonna get any play time on this team. I mean, John Collins, I mean, we could probably just trade him. Bad, bro. I just look at people and I'm like, yeah, I could trade you. Um, Yeah, I think John Collins will have the most trade value out of anybody. And so let's just grab John Collins. I mean, bro, that's a great pickup with the 20th, like what, 19th pick in the draft. So we get Victor, he's an 82. He's a center. I'm gonna bring back quickly, Sims, Grimes, you know. Just gotta fill out this roster, my guy. So looking at free agency, I mean, we've got Victor, we've got Capella, and we got we got a lot of guys. Or we could keep John Collins. I mean, he's 25. We could play Victor as our starting center. Roll with Capella off the bench, maybe? I don't know why Mitchell Robinson got a lot worse and Vanderbilt got a lot worse in the moment, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna bring Alec Burks back to New York. 79 overall two guard, can play the three if we need him to. Okay, so now the team has a whole new dynamic around Victor. Guys are looking up. We've got shooters and Markinen and Brunson. We got Victor can shoot. Bro, I mean, I think this is a really, look, I don't think we're championship contenders or even deep playoff run contenders this first year, but man, I like what I am seeing. We're gonna have three first round picks in this draft. A Pistons pick, they could be horrible. The Bucks, I, I mean, probably not gonna be horrible, but hey, you never know. Okay, so our starting five to start the season is Brunson, Burks, Markinen, Hollins, and Wembenyama. Love this starting five, this is awesome. Now here's our problem, the bench, we've got Capella, Robinson Vanderbilt quickly we like quickly but we have too many bigs too many bigs who don't space either like these are bigs who cannot play together they're gonna limit our uh what we can do so we got to figure out what we want to do with some of these guys I kind of want to keep Robinson he's the OG he's younger Capella let's see what you got trade value wise we got to trade Grimes but I mean Grimes 23 75 overall this is gonna get us a first round pick another first round pick in this draft and Bogdan Bogdanovich another kind of guy off the bench I like that Rogier I like he's just a little short Herder he's already on the contract so that's even better than the Bogdanovich. All right, so let's do the deal for Herder. Just get him under contract. Cody Martin, that's kind of whatever. So now our bench is Robinson, Vanderbilt, Herder, and Quickly. I like that a lot better. Quickly still has a lot of room to grow, so I'm gonna throw him a little bit more minutes, actually. So I'm a big fan of what we did with the team. I like this a lot. Let's go to, maybe not the trade deadline, let's go to like the end of the year and get a pulse of where this team is at. Four straight losses to start the year is where we're at. Maybe this team is not as good as I thought. We were pretty bad. But the thing is, we own our pick, so... I think the thing is we're flexible though. I mean, all right, we're already back to six and six, six and eight. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking and we'll go to the end of the year and see how the team is. All right, on January 2nd, we're 20 and 14. So, I mean, we're pretty good. We're the sixth seed. We're avoiding the plan. I think we're gonna avoid the plan. I like that. Milwaukee, ah, a little unfortunate. All right, you know, honestly, I'm gonna stand pat. I'm gonna see how this team, I think this team is pretty good. I don't think we need to make any rush decisions. I like that we have a winning record, but I don't wanna rush into making a win now move until I really feel like the team is there. And I just don't think we're there yet. All right, so we are 43 and 39. Victor Wembanyama. Victor Wembanyama. Hopefully I'm saying that right. He's a rookie of the year at 24 points. Not the greatest shooting splits, but not bad for a rookie. We'll, we'll take that, man. Victor also made the All-NBA second team as a rookie. We just That's just incredible. And we are the sixth seed going against the Milwaukee Bucks. This is actually an important series. We kind of need to beat the Milwaukee Bucks to make their pick worse. Um, so we got Jalen and Drew, Burks and Oubre, Markin and Middleton, Collins and Kumpo. Antetokounmpo, I'm sorry. 
sorry, it's late. Victor and Bobby. So, I mean, I I don't hate us in this matchup. What I like, oh, Detroit made the playoffs too. So none of these picks are going to be very good. But let's see how we do. I mean, I'm not, we're not expecting to beat Giannis and all them. But hey, last year we did upset the Celtics. So you never know. It's 2-2 two, two here. 3-2, three, 4, we win again. And now we're going against the Celtics. We have an even bigger edge at center than we did last year. Wow. So I still think we match up good against the Celtics. Now let's, we can't lie. We beat them in seven. It's not like we clobbered them. That was, that could have gone either way. And this year it goes their way. Way. They sweep us. I think last year might have been the fluke. I might have got a little ahead of myself. Celtics going to the finals and winning the finals. So the only teams that can beat us are the eventual champions. Let's just remember that. We're not losing to anybody but the eventual champions. So no lottery picks. We have the 15th pick, the 18th pick, and the 28th pick. Hmm. Honestly, I just don't feel like we're at the point where we're not win-win now now, but we're like win now now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying maybe we um maybe we have our pick next year. I mean, I would love to try to get a beastly player with these picks. Some sort of superstar. Maybe we'll get some good offers for these draft picks during the draft. 15th pick, ah, 76 overall, it's all right. We could stash him in the G League. I mean, it's just another player we could trade at some point, I guess. I hate to look at all our players, it's just we could do that, but it is what it is. All right, somebody offer us something for this pick. There we go, 22 of y'all. Nasir Little, I mean, all right. Eh. Mo Bamba, I'm not like dying about None of these, none of these are like, you know what I mean? Like none of these offers are kind of like really doing much for me. I feel like I'm a little bit backed up into a corner here. Wizards pick and I get Yuta. All right, there's potential here. All right, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna sign the 76 overall, second rounders. Yeah, I mean, the thing, I don't know, man. I feel like we're, we're kind of like, really we're just backed into a corner there. You know, except Larry Markinen's team option. I don't know why his overall is just dropping like that, but it is. I guess. Qualifying offer to quickly. We got to bring him back, obviously. Got to quickly bring him back. Anthony Davis is a free agent. Hold up. Now, I believe we have a Lakers pick, do we not? So Vanderbilt doesn't want to come back. So I guess we're going to renounce his rights since he refuses to come back. We're going to re-sign quickly. It's not very nice, Jared. Oh my God, we could bring on Jonathan Isaac. I don't know if this guy even plays basketball or not. Um, he's been out of the NBA for a long time, it feels like. But when he's right, he's right, man. He got that A-plus perimeter defense. So in this world where the Knicks may win a championship is a world where this guy actually plays. <laughs> is that messed up to say? All right, so the team is looking nice. It's a deep team, but it's not stoked superstar. I would love to get some sort of super good running mate for Victor. But I mean, if we just have to build a really well-rounded team around him, I think that might just be what it is. Bro, so entering this third season, we just have a little too many shooting guards. We've got Keontae George, who we drafted, Quentin Grimes quickly, and we have Herter. So we gotta figure out how to consolidate these shooting guards into some something better. Maybe just a one better shooting guard for like two or three of them, but something's gotta give here. Thinking Herter's six seven, so I would like to keep him quickly. I mean, he's the hometown talent. We'd love to have him, but six two. Brunson's really small as well, so I'm not sure quickly is really the guy I want. Grimes kind of leaves him as the odd man out because Keontae's obviously only 20. He's going to be the best of all of them. But we can solve that issue later in the season. So the other problem is I don't even have enough. Well, I could do a little 10-man rotation, I guess. So we're going Jalen Brunson, Kevin Herter, Laurie Markkinen, John Collins, Victor Wembenyama. And then off the bench, we got Mitchell Robinson, Quinton Grimes, Quickly, Isaac. I'm almost wondering if the best version of this team is Victor at power forward with Mitchell Robinson. We got the seven footer and the seven four. I feel like that could work. And then we can explore Collins as a trade piece with these shooting guards. I feel like that might be the move, but we're probably gonna have to sim a little bit later in the season when we can start trading these guys, which will be January 25th. So let's go sim until then and see what we can come up with. All right, so we're 24 and 21, very disappointing. Larry Markin, and I guess he's just not fitting in with this team, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I have to go till tomorrow. All right, we've got killed. So we're 24 and 22. Oh, Brandon Ingram is interesting. That's definitely an upgrade. I'm gonna have to give up a lot to get Ingram quickly, who, again, is a little short. This guy's gonna develop another shooting guard. He's gonna end up being better than quickly in like a season or two. So this is honestly not that bad of a trade. Let's do this. Upgrade a little bit at the small forward. I still wanna upgrade the... Ah, so, so. I feel like something still isn't quite right with this roster and I can't put my finger on what it is. 
I like this trade is a huge upgraded shooting guard, Simons. Grant's not as good as Collins and he's older, but he's under contract. Plus, I could bring him off the bench and do what I wanted to do with put Victor at power forward. So I'm gonna do this trade. So now my lineup is just, it looks a lot better. We have Jalen Brunson, Anthony Simons, Brandon Ingram, Victor Wembanyama, and Mitchell Robinson. So now, I mean, obviously your overall rating isn't the end all be all, but we got 388s. I mean, I think the team got better. The bench is still really good. Um, Jeremy Grant, Jonathan Isaac, Quentin Grimes, Keontae George, he's a shooting guard, and Philip Malone, we just traded for him, he's a shooting guard. We got shooting, we got size off the bench. We don't have a center necessarily. I think maybe that would help getting a, a proper center off the bench. So Grimes is gonna be the odd man out in that case because he's the oldest shooting guard and his rating is basically the same as the guys younger than him. I know it kind of sucks to trade away the homegrown talent. I don't want to trade away everyone who's on the roster to start out, but bam, bro, 79 overall center, but we had to give a first round pick. I don't know about that. Play Thompson, that's a funny one. Jalen Duran for Monty Dean, who we just drafted, and Quentin Grimes, young center, team option. Love the sound of that. Wow, so now our bench, we got a proper power forward, a center, a proper wing, and two guards. I like what I am seeing, y'all. So let's go to the end of the season and see how this team does. I'm expecting us to pull into like a top four-ish seed. I don't know, man, this team is really good. We start out with three Ws, but I feel like the more I talk, the more we might start losing. So I'm gonna shut up. Garland, wow, Gar Darius Garland won the MVP, that's crazy. Um, Evan Mobley, Defensive Player of the Year, he'll probably win a couple of those in his career, okay. Nobody on the first team. Victor Wembem Yama on the All-NBA second team. We love this guy. He averaged 27, 11, and three. Way better shooting splits than last year though, so our guy is definitely very improved. And we only lost seven times since that trade, those trades. We only lost seven times. Oh, I hit simulate playoffs, but that made us go up three nothing. I was trying to say, we only lost seven times since we made all those trades. So I think we probably were winning at a number one seed pace. Um, we're going against the Pacers here. Wow, I think we match up great with this team. Miles Turner, Kyle Phillips, okay. That is a sweep. We have swept two opponents in a row, and now we have the final rematch versus the Celtics. So they lost Marcus Smart, they're on Monty Morris. I like Jalen Brunson there. Malcolm Brogdon versus Simons. I mean, it's a weird matchup, obviously. I feel like, you know, they're not, the, basketball is not a game of who's got the better point guard, shooting guard, small forward, but I like how much bigger than them we are. We are a lot bigger than them and I don't know, I like us a lot. Obviously I'm biased as the GM of the team and the Celtics do beat us in game one, but we come right back, beat them in game two, beat them in game three, beat them in game four, beat them in game five. Hey, the Celtics, you know what? Good for them. They took away our chance of going completely undefeated in the playoffs, but Victor Wembanyama is the Larry Bird Eastern Conference MVP. All right, the Thunder, Shea, Josh, Lu wow, man, I like our odds versus this team too. This team kind of has the same idea as us, bringing the long boys, you know, bringing the really tall long boys. But the problem for the Thunder, bro, is you look at their long boys and you go, all right, well, all right, Chet's probably gonna be better than Mitchell Robinson three years in the future, probably. But I mean, he's a little thin boy, you know what I'm saying? Lou Dort, great defensive player, kind of the kind of guy you'd want guarding Ingram. I mean, Ingram's still a better player. Giddy, a little bit more dynamic, than si a lot more dynamic than Simons, I feel like, as a playmaker, but I mean, Simons is there to be a shooter for us. He's not even really there to make plays. And Shea, Shea is scary. I don't I don't love this Jalen guarding Shea matchup with how much height. But the thing is we got such tall trees in the paint. I feel like it's gonna be hard for Shea to drive. We could shoot over Brunson, but let's see how that pans out. They beat us in game one by eight. We beat them in game two. We beat them in game three. Game four, they knotted up. We're up 3-2. All right, is this the Knicks championship? First one since the early 70s. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be. We are running away with this. And we have brought a championship to the New York Knicks, ladies and gentlemen, on our first rebuild back here on JDL. Let's go! We have won the title. We didn't expect to do it with Victor. I had no, I really didn't think we were gonna have a chance at Victor, but we pull away, we get him, and we build a championship team around him. Wow, I like this team. And it's crazy is a lot of this team we put together mid-season too. Most of this team we put together mid-season, but this team is stacked. Thank you guys for watching. Guys, I know I haven't uploaded a lot in JDL, and when I have uploaded, 
uploaded on this channel in the past, I'd upload for like a month, two months, maybe even three, and then I'd kind of just stop. The plan is to upload all year long, just to be completely candid with you guys. In the past, it was really difficult for me to juggle doing my main channel, doing this channel, doing Too Hype, 100 Thieves, my personal life, all that stuff. But as a lot of you guys saw, we were taking a break on the Too Hype channel, so it's really opened up my schedule. It's a bummer we're not gonna be doing the Too Hype videos for the foreseeable future, but I'm really excited to be doing this channel. I'm gonna be bringing back my subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash Jidel submissions. Join the subreddit, guys. I wanna react to content again. I miss doing that with y'all. I wanna reconnect with you guys as a community way better this year than I did last year, so. Dude, I'm super excited for the year. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm excited to be back on the rebuilds. The Knicks, this was fun. I'm gonna let y'all in a little secret who stayed at the end of the video. I was gonna do a Lakers rebuild, guys. I failed twice. I can't figure out how to fix that team. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace.